I just have a quick thought on slow eccentric training or maybe something that a lot of people could just consider when they're doing slow tempo work. So performing slow eccentric reps is pretty popular for a lot of people in their training. And one thing that I've noticed that is pretty common and a lot of people should just be aware of is that you should just control the eccentric regardless of how slow you're going. Don't just let the weight push you down. Own the weight, control the speed, don't just resist it. When the weight gets heavy and it feels heavy, it's really easy to just let the weight push you into the bottom of the hole. There's almost this panic that people can experience in which they're just counting down the clock and trying to conserve their effort for the concentric portion of the exercise. In a way, they're just letting the weight and gravity do the work for them. And they have this fight or flight response and they're just trying to hold on for dear life. And like I usually say, there isn't anything that's necessarily wrong with this, but being able to actually control the speed of the weight with confidence and with calmness can demonstrate strength. And one could even argue can even train strength better than just slowly resisting the weight on the way down under duress. And so I guess another way to put it would be to just think about being more active with the eccentric instead of passive. Yeah, so hopefully that helps and try it out.